good afternoon this is vrishali and welcome to cs and it tutorials by vrishali in my last session we learn about supervised and unsupervised learning algorithm and we also learn about some introduction examples and training and testing data set concepts so i have mentioned the link of that videos in below description box now in this video or in this session we will learn about the next type of learning that is reinforcement learning and at the end of this video we will also learn about the differentiate between supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning so let's start following points are covered in this video which includes types of learning introduction of reinforcement learning then working example applications and last difference between supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning so let's start now the first point is types of learning we already learn about supervised learning and unsupervised learning concept in supervised learning we will pass label input data to the machine for the training purpose then machine identify the particular image that will be trained in unsupervised learning we will provide the unlabeled data or random data set to the particular machine then machine identify their features their patterns okay and as per their characteristics they group the particular data this is a concept of unsupervised learning i have mentioned the link of supervised and unsupervised learning algorithm in below description box now in this session we will learn about the next type of learning that is reinforcement learning so see here what is mean by reinforcement learning so just remember this thing reinforcement learning is a feedback based machine learning technique there is a one agent and agent can be learn from the behavior of environment and they perform a particular action and after performing action the particular result will be generated this is the concept of reinforcement learning for each good action agent get the positive feedback and for each bad action agent get some negative feedback or we can say penalty there is no label data and agent can be learn by their experiences so i will explain this environment through example on my next slide so generally reinforcement learning technique that can be used to solve a specific type of problem and that can be also used in decision making purpose the goal of reinforcement learning generally used in online games robotics this kind of environment reinforcement learning technique is used so i will explain this technique with example okay now see here this is just one simple example of reinforcement learning just consider that this is just one game okay so there are two main things one is environment and another is agent so environment means anything that is particular room particular ground okay or any maze etc so just consider that this matrix is called as environment this is one environment okay now agent agent means any intelligent agent such as such as artificial intelligence robot etc okay so in this environment this is a agent this robot is called as agent okay now what is the working of this game this agent uh, need to go up to this diamond right and in between that there are some hurdles that is a wall and that is fire okay so agent uh, agent find out the particular path that will be move forward to up to the particular diamond right this is a particular aim of that particular game right so in this image agent agent that will be very first s9 block right and s6 is wall and s8 is fire so what was the particular path suppose agent that move forward to s5 then will get the plus 1 reward right then after s5 it moved to s1 again it will get the reward that is plus 1 point okay again it goes to s2 again s3 and up to the diamond so that will be a proper path there is no any hurdle in between this path right so each and every point path that will get the plus 1 point that is reward right but suppose this agent need to take the decision suppose this particular agent goes to s9 to s10 then he will get the plus 1 point right after that they will move up but there is a wall and that is not a correct decision right then their points will be reduced that is minus points okay 
and after that again it goes to back again move forward up to s11 again it will get a plus 1 point and suppose the agent move to s12 by taking a particular decision it moves to s12 is getting one point but after s12 suppose the particular agent move to s8 then there will be a fire right that not a particular correct decision so there one point that will be reduced or minus clear so this is called as reinforcement learning reinforcement learning technique having a particular environment the agent need to take a decision of each and every step if their decision is correct then they will get a particular points or rewards but the, if their decision is wrong at that time they will get a particular penalties right so this is called as reinforcement learning it can take a four actions like move up move down move left and move right i think you all are familiar with such kind of games there are various online games and other games are available so this technique generally used that purpose now see again same example uh, will be continue agent uh, can take any path to reach to the final point but he needs to uh, make it possible for fewer steps only okay not a long steps they need to identify which one is a fewer steps up to this diamond so agent will try to remember each and every steps for take reach to the final step right so this is called as reinforcement learning now uh, these are the some applications of reinforcement learning technique reinforcement learning technique generally used in robotics for uh, robot navigation robot successor walking jungling purpose then it can be also used in controlling that is a uh, factory process administration control then telecommunication purpose uh, there are different towers of mobiles are available right so when you call a particular person then the particular telecommunication can be take a decision of each and every router right so this is a, a reinforcement learning example in telecommunication then online games optimization of chemical reaction in chemistry industry also this kind of technique is used for decision making purpose in business that is business strategy planning then manufacturing automobile manufacturing companies then robots use deep reinforcement learning technique then finance sector also because each and every uh, each and every field there will be a decision making thing right and so reinforcement learning technique used in this field now the last thing is difference between supervised and unsupervised and reinforcement learning now see here uh, we already learned this three types of learning in detail in last sessions right so the first one is supervised learning so what will the definition these are the parameters okay the definition is the machine learning can be using by using label data okay in unsupervised learning machine can be trained by using unlabel data without any guidance and in reinforcement learning the agent interacts with the environment by performing a particular action right then there are two types of problem supervised learning have regression and classification two types unsupervised learning have association and clustering and reinforcement learning types is reward based right then in supervised learning technique types of data that is labeled data in unsupervised learning unlabeled data and reinforcement learning technique is no predefined data right now the next one is approaches in supervised learning technique it map the label input data to known output because there is output is given unsupervised learning we need to understand a pattern and discovers the particular output and reinforcement learning technique there is a trial and error method right they find out the particular path if the decision is correct if either decision is wrong so this is called as trial and error method so this is the main or basic difference between supervised unsupervised and reinforcement learning so hope so you should understand the concept about the types of learning if you like my videos please subscribe the channel keep practicing thank you